Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Where did all this come from? Port Charles Hotel, at your service. Oh, I don't believe this. Well, you know what I thought? I thought it was time for another dinner party. You're so incredible, do you know that? Well, thank you. And you, Julia, you knew about this when you came to see me, right? Best kept secret in town. And I'm sure mm. you were in on this, too. So these two sneaks got together? That's me, a sneak. <clears throat> I'm probably the luckiest woman in the world. I know that we're so nervous about what's going to be happening tomorrow, so I think it's really perfect that we're all here together tonight. I just want you both to know that I, I love you both. <laughs> In fact, I love you all. Two friends? Friends. Friends. Hey, Julia. No, come on great. in. Um, we're having some oatmeal here. Why don't um, I just pour some in a trough for you? Oh, great. And then you can hose me down and put me back in the barn. No, I think I'll have coffee, thanks. Oh, that's nice. Just turn yourself up at the menu. Turn your turn your little nose up at the menu. I'm well, going to get some hey. coffee now. Thank you. Morning. Ooh. <laughs> that's something you should be using for a facial. No, that's an idea. I, I say we, we take banana slices, we uh -huh. put them on their eyes, we put the oatmeal on, and we <laughs> drop it on, and it might work. Here, let's just try it on Scotty. Come here, Scott. What? Come here, we're going to put this on you for a facial. Oh, no. But you know what? It might make a nice hair product, you know? Oh, put it on your hair. Hard to hold hair. You get the oatmeal in there. <laughs> Great. We can put it in our new product line. I like that. Why not? You, okay. know, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because um, there's, there's something I want to talk to you you about no we are not discussing business i'm here on a social visit she's right our business is is fine i still want to talk about it i mean deception is still a part of my life what would you like to talk about? well I, I think you both know how much i've enjoyed being the deception model and we have enjoyed having you as deception models matter of fact i think i deserve a pat on the back for coming up with that don't you think so Make it what, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. That was my idea. It was no, my wait, wait, idea. Wait, wait, of course wait, wait, it was my idea. Just, wait, just listen to me, okay? Okay. It's been great. It really has. But I think that we really need to face facts here right now. And we definitely need a new model. I know it's probably going to take a long time to find the right person to be a model for deception, so I think we should start looking right away. Well, I, I like having you in the ads. It, it makes me happy to see you. It makes me happy, too. Oh, thank you. You know, we all know that's got to change after I'm gone. I mean, unless you can come up with some new marketing strategy, you know, uh, deception glow, even in the afterlife. Come on, it's a joke. Come on, guys. I mean, we have to come up with some incredible pitch so we won't lose the momentum, which made us such a success in the first place. That's okay. We can lose a little momentum. Yeah, we could use a little breather, right? All right. I know that it's really hard for the both of you to focus on things like this because of me. The point is, it's very important for the business. It's important to me. And I just really need to know that everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Look, we can't start looking at models. We, didn't, we haven't figured out where our approach will be yet. She's right. We'd have to come up with a whole new campaign and, and all of that business. Mm. Well, I suggest then that we get started. Now? Absolutely. Now, Scott, why don't you go find some legal pads and some pencils? Oh, well, come on, John. Um, I don't think we're on. And there is, um, there's something I have for you. you follow me? What? Dom. That's for you. Oh, you sweetie. Oh, you got this when you were in Italy. Yeah. And I remember how much you loved it, and you always swore you're going to steal it when I wasn't looking. And then you don't have to. Because I want to give it to you. No. I'm, I can't. I can't take that. No, Juliet, you can. And you will. Because this is something I want to give you. This is really hard. It feels like you're... You're saying goodbye. Hopefully I'm going to have a lot more time to do that. It's just, Julia, I didn't want all my things to be packed away in the...
boxes and forgotten about or, or given to people who wouldn't really appreciate them. I knew that you would appreciate this. I really do. I, I really like it. Thank you. Scott, what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Great. Yeah, it looks, um, looks good. Well, <clears throat> every time I wear it, I'll think of you. Hell, even when I'm not wearing it, I'll think of you. When you do think of me, please think of me in a good light, in good form. Laughing, the both of you. Three Stooges running a business, huh? <laughs> with something. Well, what's wrong with the Three Stooges? They were competent, weren't they? Yeah, so are we. We did a really damn good job. We had a damn good time. <laughs> It's not right for deception. They need more of an edge, you know, more of a Oh, danger. so we go the dominatrix thing, right? <laughs> well, what? We have a well, whip and high heels and these, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah, how about that? That would be an edge, wouldn't it? No, I don't think so. Besides, domination is the idea for Lucy's new perfume, and she'd never forgive you if you stole it. Lucy hasn't had an original thought in the last five years. She, everything she, she comes up with, she's stolen from somebody. Trust me, I know oh, Lucy. Nice. Come on, answer Who's the, that? Answer the I don't know. Why don't you answer it? Why don't you go you, get it? I'm not going to get it. Oh, ah, you're too busy with these great ideas. Well, yeah. Hey, Sly. How are you? Come on in here. I came, by, I came by to see Dominique, and you too. Is that Rose for me? Well, it, some guy was selling them off the street. It, it, it's okay, isn't it? Because I know you buy her flowers all the time, right? So what are you doing? You're cutting into my action here. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up, because you know what? These girls are starting to gang up on me, so I need a guy to can touch <laughs> guy! Hey, how are you? Okay. I was looking for you at Kelly's. <gasps> oh, if I knew you were going to be here, I'd have brought one for you too. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a second chance. Why don't you give me a call? Sure. Okay. Thanks, Sly. I got this for you. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. You want to sit down and visit for a while? Sure. Why don't we go into the room, um, make some phone calls and stuff? Oh, sure. Good idea. I'll be back. Okay. You hungry? You want some breakfast? Oh, no thanks. I already ate. Mm. I just don't want to let you go. You don't have to. No, well, I don't want well, to. Well, I don't know about that. You know, you're giving her flowers and hugging her. Next thing, you're just going to steal my wife, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, remember your promise, okay? Sure, I'll, I'll remember. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a ride home, and then I'll go by and I'll uh, see Lucy and make sure that she's eating. Very good idea. Maybe you can spoon feed her some of that oatmeal. I'll feed her chip beef on toast. She uh, picked up a taste for that in prison. God. <laughs> you two will be all right without me? Yeah, I was, um, I was going to ask Julia if she didn't mind uh, helping me wash my hair. No, let's get set up. Okay. Sly, who are you going to call? You. Right. <laughs> my sweetheart, okay? See you later. Come in. Hello. Yeah. Oh, my Julia, gosh, hey. it's a party. Yeah, it's a great Hi. party. I smell peanut butter. Well, what are you expecting? Uh, like a cheese fondue? Oh, I think I need one you of those. You want one? Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm so tired of answering that question. Can I ask you one? Shoot. How's your love life? Okay, soldiers, march. Oh, my God. Totally Lucas, totally. out of line, mister, to the left. Honey, what? make sure you Shoot. tell Betty that they already ate, okay? Yeah, I will. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, call you from the hospital then. Okay, give Mac my letter. Tell him that we're thinking kids, of him. Kids, kids. Do it for me, too. Mm -hmm. Have you, them? I know it. Have you heard anything about Mac's condition? Um, well, yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty banged up, actually. Oh, no, it's too bad. Yeah. Well, you just never know, do you? Well, enough of that. Um, you know, you didn't answer my question. Hmm. How are you and Ned? It's good. Good, yeah. So what's good? Uh, the relationship, companionship. Yeah. The sex? Well, yeah, the sex. The, the sex. Mm -hmm. Are you getting enough from him emotionally? 
You're going to start this again. You just love doing this, don't you? Why, I, I, you know Ned. He's not exactly Mr. Sensitive. You didn't know that going in. Yes, I did. That's why I told you everything's fine. It's good. I think there's something else. What, you have x-ray vision now? You've become a psychic? What? What? Julia, I've just known you for a while. <sighs> well, <laughs> Tracy thinks that that Ned is still in love with Jimmy. What do you think? I think I don't want to think about it right now. Okay. Uh, Julia, um, you picked a guy on the rebound. I mean... <sighs> okay, all right, all right. Fine, let's just for the sake of argument say I did. Let's say he is on the rebound. He's just using me to cover up his feelings for Jenny, all right? What do you want me to do about it? I guess that depends on what you want to do. Touche. Good point. How do you feel about Ned? I like him. You like him? That's it? What that's do you all? want from me? I like him. I said I liked him. I mean, maybe I just don't need the kind of emotional commitment you knew. You do. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Ned and I are just both using each other. Did you ever think of that? What I think, Julia, is that you're in deeper than you want to admit. I think you're in love with Ned. I think you are so in love with him, and you're just afraid you're going to get hurt. doing here? Oh, I happen to know the lady who owns this place. Really? Does she let you in here when she's not around? Yes, she does. Because she knows that I always bring a gift. And what would that be? I guess she'll just have to wait till it's unwrapped. Ned, no, don't take this wrong, but I'm not really in the mood. Well, this is a new attitude. I just came from visiting Dominique, and it kind of puts you in a... You know, it brings up lots of things. Like what? Oh, you know, thoughts about... life, death, love, hate, you know, the light stuff. You want to talk about it? No, I, I just think I'd rather let it settle in. Okay. Can I get you a drink of water while we're waiting for water, it to settle in? Water sounds good. Thank you. That was a Okay. I saw Brenda today. Yeah? Did you know that she's, uh, working for my grandmother? Yeah. I hope she doesn't blow it. Yeah, I just hope that she doesn't steal the silverware. <laughs> you never take serious things seriously. Well, I don't know. I could be persuaded. How about you? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi, Julia. I'm glad you got here. How is she? She is so weak right now, she can't even lift her head off the pillow. I gotta see her. Yeah, um, well, when you see Tony... Tony how's she doing? Uh, she's in and out of consciousness. How long, you know... It could be any time. May I see her? Uh, in a few minutes, yes. They sound so pretty. I wish I could have seen them. Hi. Is this a bad time? No. Julia? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. No, come in. Hi. Come in. Come in. Visit with her for a while. Mm. Okay? I I I'm going to go somewhere. What are you up to? I'm not up to anything. Oh, I know you do. I'll be right back. He's up to He's something. Up to something. <laughs> 